Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Master channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to cover another stock, but this time it's an American company and it's a well-known company in fact. And this company is called the Walt Disney Company or the DIS stock, right? So again, uh, when it comes to Disney, it is one of the most popular stocks, uh, which is a behemoth when it comes to the entertainment industry. And the, as you guys know, own several, uh, you know, flagships, which includes the uh, Marvel Studios as well as uh, all the Marvel IPs, uh, excluding some of them, of course. And if you go to Yahoo Finance, you can see a lot of information about uh, the Walt uh, Disney Company, right? So uh, the ticker symbol is DIS and it's traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, you can basically see the information in US dollars. So all of the information that I'm going to present today is going to be in US dollars. So I'm going to go over quickly some of the information uh, about um, you know, Disney and you can basically find all of this information that I'm going to talk about uh, at Yahoo Finance. Uh, or finance.yahoo.com, right? So when you go to the section, you can clearly see that they have uh, the historical price graph, uh, which basically clearly shows that this coin, uh, this kind of stock is, uh, uh, you know, going up in value. Recently, the stock did crash, reaching a low of about, um, uh, you know, uh, about $194.40 USD and it's slowly starting to recover right now. A lot of people are speculating that this uh, stock will go up in value and maybe even cross its um, $110 uh, dollar mark, which has been uh, quite a bit of a resistance and it will definitely probably break that pretty soon, right? So if you look at some of the information, including statistics, you can find that the market cap to date has been $191.07 billion, which is pretty crazy. The enterprise value is $229.82 billion. And there's a lot of other information which provides a lot of, uh, you know, uh, valuable insights about how the company is doing. The company overall is doing pretty well. Uh, they, even though the stock has kind of like retraced recently, uh, overall the company has a bright future and there are lots of uh, important metrics that you can review. I'm not going to go into the metrics in detail in this video. Uh, there are lots of videos that cover about the metrics. I'm just going to give you an overview and my thoughts on this stock, right? So uh, you can clearly see that the trading information, uh, five-year monthly trading average is going to be 1.24, um, as well as 52-week change is a negative 38.60%. Again, as we discussed, it's kind of uh, retraced recently, and but it's, it is starting to recover. You can find a lot of important statistics as well as information there. Uh, again, unfortunately, this is a growth stock. It is not a dividend stock. They don't pay any dividends, so you cannot rely on any form of uh, passive gain. The only way you can make money from the stock is you buy it low and sell it high. So obviously, since the stock has retraced recently, a lot of people have jumped into the stock to buy it at a low price of 94 or even $95. Um, and now people who have bought at that price point are sitting in a really good profit range right now. And, uh, you know, you can definitely uh, hope that this project will uh, do well. Uh, sorry, this stock will do well because the stock is, uh, you know, one of the kind of like, uh, you know, blue chip uh, stocks uh, and it is a very, uh, you know, uh, important stock that uh, people uh, tend to uh, rely on, especially in times where there is a lot of cash flow and people want to spend money. Uh, they want to go to theme park, especially family. Uh, and if you see, obviously, Marvel Studios uh, producing a lot of like, uh, you know, Marvel IPs when it comes to movies and you also have, uh, you know, uh, TV series. Uh, they also have merchandise and so many things associated with the uh, Disney and Marvel characters, right? So a lot of people are going to be buying uh, tickets for Disneyland. Uh, a lot of people are trying, going to be, uh, you know, watching uh, movies, uh, buying merchandise. They have some of the best, uh, you know, kind of like uh, brands that um, uh, it's available uh, and noticed worldwide. So there's no real concern of this uh, stock being a really good long-term play. But the only problem is that um, you will not earn any dividends by holding the stock, right? So uh, you can scroll below and they have, uh, you know, a lot of important uh, information, which also includes profit margins, which is the most important number that you, uh, you know, have to look at to see uh, how much money they're making. They are a profitable company and they're making 
uh, a profit margin of 3.46%, which is not bad, uh, an operating margin of 7.42%. Uh, their returns on assets, uh, TTM is uh, you know 1.76%, and return on equity is 3.13%. All of these are really good numbers. Their revenue is 76.62 billion dollars. So again, uh, this is as of now, and the revenue per share is 42.12. Their quarterly revenue, uh, you know, earnings is 23.3. Percent. It has kind of like um, uh, increased and their EBITDA is $10.78 billion. So all of these are really important information to uh, do a deep dive into. Uh, as I said, I'm just going to quickly go through these information. I'm not going to go in any depth uh, when it comes to these numbers. This is information that you can basically get from Yahoo Finance for your uh, reference, right? So I'm going to uh, go to the other sections, which is historical data. You can see that uh, they have provided a lot of key information here. Uh, you can see their opening and closing prices uh, as well as the trading volume. They have consistently had pretty good trading volumes. Uh, and in fact, uh, the trading volumes, despite being good, has overall uh, in a slightly decreased compared to uh, you know last month. Uh, this is because obviously the market sentiment with regards to recession as well as uh, you know uh, inflationary concerns are still there and since last month the panic uh, in the in the market overall with regards to the uh, you know rate increases is increasing and therefore the the uh, volume has slightly decreased but it's still quite good when it comes to the average uh, market volume trading volumes right so uh, profile wise again this is the uh, website of the company which is www.thewaltdisneycompany.com uh, you can go through that information there they have about 152,000 employees it's one of the uh, biggest employers uh, you know uh, in 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 any any american company and they are also uh, based in California. So uh, these are the important people of the company who are currently in office. So Robert A. Chapak is the uh, CEO and director and uh, you can see the uh, the pay exercise as well as the uh, the year they were born and other information. They are all very capable individuals and uh, currently they are in the office, right? So uh, financial wise, you can go through uh, the financials to see the total revenue that they've earned uh, so far in 2021 as of uh, you know uh, you know uh, 30th of September 2021 which is 67.41 uh, eight uh, million dollars which is quite impressive and uh, the total to date is uh, 76 point uh, you know uh, 624 million dollars and uh, cost of revenue gross profit the gross profit they are a profitable company as i mentioned uh, they have uh, uh, you know a lot of expenses you can read all that information here and uh, you know the total expenses the normalized income the interest income and so on and so forth uh, you can go into detail here by going to the financial section right so when it comes to analysis uh, there are a lot of analysts who are predicting a really good uh, you know upward trend uh, you can go through that here so the number of analysts who predicted this is 13 uh, you know analysts and the average estimate is like one uh, the low estimate is 0 0.78 their high estimate is 1.33 so uh, if you see uh, the revenue estimate is going to be about 20.6 billion dollars so they're going to uh, they're expecting a revenue, average revenue estimate, uh, with the lowest estimate being $19.81 billion, as well as the highest estimate being $21.62 billion. Uh, and uh, the earning history is also shown here, and all these are really important numbers, which I'm not going to go through, but uh, you can see that a lot of analysts have estimated uh, that uh, you know, Walt Disney is going to be a good uh, profitable company, uh, continue continue to be a profitable company moving forward as well. So um, here is options, again options are not really relevant for this video. Uh, major holders, you can see the major holders by uh, you know, uh, top institutional holders, Vanguard obviously being uh, one of the big giants uh, you know, uh, for ETFs and stuff, they are basically the biggest institutional holder. Uh, which holds about 7.72% uh, of the entire share. BlackRock, which is also a behemoth, uh, owns about 6.44% of all the shares. Uh, State Street Corporation, uh, Morgan Stanley, and a whole bunch of others are also uh, owning stakes in this company, right? So uh, you can also see, uh, you know, uh, the breakdown is provided for mutual funds as well as uh, in, uh, corporations overall. So you can go through that information here. Sustainability wise, 
this uh, uh, stock has a ESG score of 14th uh, which is pretty good uh, they have an environmental risk score of 0.1 social risk score of 7.1 governance risk score of 7.1 as well uh, the controversy level is 2 they're moderately controversy again uh, it's kind of good in, 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 a, in the overall, overall sense you don't want to be uh, over four which is the bar here so you don't want to have too much controversies they don't really have any controversy which is pretty good uh, which is very important because if you have a lot of controversy especially for a growth stock you are going to be in trouble because you, you you won't really gain any dividend and therefore any controversy or any kind of bad news is going to plummet the, uh, uh, the stock price and you will see a lot of people uh, panic selling that so that's definitely not a good number but uh, this company has a controversy level of two which is pretty good right so that's it so these are all some of the main numbers that i want to show you guys i also want to show you guys what people are talking about when it comes to walt disney you can see that as well which is pretty cool from yahoo finance uh, so Obviously, uh, there are people who talk about Bitcoin and if you scroll further below, you can see that uh, someone is like, I like uh, Disney uh, and they are longing it. They are trying to, um, you know, uh, encourage people to buy it as well. And they are basically stating that $115 is coming soon in their opinion. So, which is pretty good. Um, again, $115 is definitely a good possibility. This was again uh, posted by someone called Tangerine Ball uh, Bag LL. 11 hours ago so there's definitely positive sentiment about this stock uh, so they are to lay off thousands movie biz is dead disneyland to raise prices on food and give smaller portions it is in the news today so there is someone who's commenting on the bearish tone uh, based on what they've heard this is from yesterday uh, there are some people who are bearish as well which is very important to know uh, someone tell john reg sarah et al uh, that when at Disney World, uh, those are my favorite balloons are not uh, environmentally friendly. So, uh, again, there are people who are commenting uh, stuff like this as well. Uh, stocks, stock is up 9% over the past month, not a bad return at all. So, there are people who are happy that the, the stock price has increased considerably uh, in the past month. And this is something that uh, is very important. Even though the trading volume is kind of low the stock has increased as we saw in the charts as well so friday over a hundred dollar per share sorry i missed friday and monday took some vacation time so obviously uh, the price being over five hundred dollars per share is a pretty good thing uh is thor hey light here uh, is still playing so again <laughs> the people are obviously trolling there are certain trolls as well uh mando good post but you forgot the prices so again some bearish sentiment as well you can go through all this information pretty quickly so again um disney unveils new budget treats only 20 dollars each again this is referring to the inflationary uh you know uh, you know causes that that uh, not just uh, disney every other industry is also facing and uh, it seems to me that they are talking about shrinkflation here uh, where the prices remain the same but the uh, quantities are lower right so gas prices are plummeting this is good for disney um, again the same person tangerine ball bag uh, you know uh, one one or uh, ll or whatever that is they are definitely long disney as they commented so that's the quick information about what people are thinking about this and what people are commenting about this stock uh, when you go to the summary itself uh, if you see here when it comes to the charts you can clearly see that the the, the stock has uh, been at an all-time high uh, of um, 181 dollars and 18 cents as of october 1st 2020 uh, 2020 and then since then the stock has crashed and right now the price is 104 dollars and 71 cents uh, it is continuing to recover which is pretty good news if you see the the yearly chart you can clearly see that the the uh, stock has gone down and now it is slowly starting to recover after the bottom of 92 dollars and 94 cents uh, people are speculating uh, that it could go above 110 dollars and maybe even reach 115 dollars pretty soon uh, i think pretty soon means by the end of this year but again we could take longer than that because of the current inflationary uh, as well as rate increases that we'll, we'll be continuing to expect from the fed pretty soon right so when it comes to uh, the the uh, you know kind of like uh, markets that you can buy this from you can buy this from new york stock exchange uh, if you are in canada uh, like myself you can basically buy this uh, stock 
from uh, places such as Wealth Simple. So if you want to buy the stock, uh, you can use Wealth Simple. The link is in the description when it comes to the referral link. You can use that to get, uh, I think, uh, $200 uh, or 100 to 200 dollars in free stocks. Uh, please use that, and you can definitely get. Hundred dollars worth of free stocks yourself, right? So you can also buy this from other brokerages, but Wealth Simple has been pretty good. You can also buy this from Quest Trade, which is also a good uh, platform to buy, uh, you know, both U.S. and Canadian stocks. So if you want to use uh, Quest Trade, please go ahead as well. But I think uh, Wealth Simple is also pretty good because I think recently they announced that uh, you don't have to pay any fees or any form of conversion fees when it comes to buying uh, U.S. stocks with Canadian dollars, right? So for others, if you are in the U.S., you can obviously buy this from multiple uh, stock exchanges um, i personally my final verdict would be that um, you know uh, walt disney has been around for several several years they have they've been one of the pillars of the entertainment industry uh, not just in the us but also the entire world uh, if you are looking to buy a growth stock uh, especially something which is very strong which has a huge potential to continue growing and as you can see from the charts the all-time high has been uh, you know about 180 184 dollars and 52 cents i think in the next five to ten years from now we can expect this stock to cross the previous all-time high and make new all-time high i think the current situation with uh, obviously the covid that happened as well as the fact that we had uh, a lot of uh, inflationary increases as well as the increase in interest rates is kind of like uh, you know dampening a lot of high quality growth stocks which includes Walt Disney but if you do believe in the long term potential and I, I personally uh, believe that this stock is going to do incredibly well in the next 5 to 10 years from now and if you do want to get an exposure to a uh, growth stock which even though it doesn't pay dividend has a huge capital gain potential then Disney is for you right so again the ticker symbol is DIS and if you want to uh, buy the stock uh, as a Canadian, you can use uh, Well Simple. The link is in the description below, right? So again, uh, this is my final, final verdict, guys. Again, uh, remember, guys, you guys are not regular investors. You guys are brutal investors, so stay brutal. Thank you very much for watching my video, guys. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in my next video. Bye.